We all don't have the money to afford a video editor to make super cool graphics for us, so I'm gonna show you in this video how you can make your own animated title screen like this, your own subscribe button, and your own social media pop-up for your YouTube videos. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Trina. If you are brand new here and on this channel, I help you create content that converts, converts into subscribers, or really converts into money in your bank account. Now, so many of you have asked me how to make custom animations inside of Canva so you can level up your video editing without wanting to pull your hair out. So that's exactly what we're delivering today. I will tell you that I am using Canva. I highly recommend it. So let's pop on over to my computer. First up, let's level up your video with a title screen. So what I would do is come into Canva, canva.com and just search YouTube thumbnail because it's the same dimensions that you are going to want. Cause we're just going to grab a blank one right here. You see, grab a blank one. Then you want to make the background reflective of your brand. What Canva does allow you to do is when I click on here, I can immediately enter any of my colors. So they allow you to create a brand kit where they will remember your hex codes so that you can always have quick access to your colors. Now this is if you have a Canva Pro account. I honestly recommend a Canva Pro account because it's $13 a month and I use it for every graphic in my business from social media, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube. Like I use it for everything, creating worksheets. So I do think it's worth it. I will have a link below here for you to check it out if you want to. It is an affiliate link. So if you're interested in signing up, trying it out, it is down in the description box for you. So we have this, my brand colors are all right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this blue color as the background. Then you can start to add those animated images. So what you're gonna do is go to elements, I like to use the doodle reference. So I go doodle and we're gonna click here on doodles. And then you're gonna be able to see any of the graphics, any of the moving things you have here. So we can pop this guy in and let's see, we'll make this a little bit smaller. Some of these will not be able to be edited with the color. So if you click on this and you come up here, you'll see there is no option to change this color. So it'll be this color. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it up here in the corner. I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit. Again, once you make these one time for your title screens, you can just repeat them over and over again. You're just gonna change out the text. So now that's what I want to add. I want to add the text. I'm going to just grab this. So I use steps a lot in my videos. I'm going to say step one. Then I am going to go ahead and grab a bolder font. I'm going to change it to the white color that I have. Remember, this is what people are going to see on their screen. So you want to think about that. Make sure I just drag this over to find the center and I'm going to go to duplicate. I'm just going to pretend I'm creating a video on how to start a YouTube channel. So step one, set up your channel. I want the step one to be bold and small. I want this again, just to look a little bit differently. And then I'm gonna change the color to, let's say this. So that's ultimately what I want it to look like. Let's see what other kind of doodles. Is there, ooh, we can do this one. All right, we can put it right here and make it just a little bit smaller. I want it centered. Now this, you cannot color as well. So you're gonna have to use whatever colors they have. You can always go here to see all and they have a lot more options here. So it's fun to just dig into Canva, find what elements you like and then stick with them. So this is what it ultimately is going to look like on my title screen. But I want my title screen to come in animated. So I'm gonna click on this blue back button and I can go to animate. So you can see what it looks like right now. It just has those scribbles and it lasts five seconds. Let's jazz it up a little bit more. I want this to be animated. So I'm clicking on animate up here and I want that to come in just like that. And then I want this guy to maybe slide in. Okay, we're getting a lot of graphics here. So it may get to be too much. You just wanna play around with it. You can see Canva has all these different options. The ones that have these symbols right here, you need to have a pro Canva account. So you do need to have that account where you're paying at least $13 a month for it. But all of these are free. So you should be able to create this particular one for free. Once you have what you think you want it to look like, then you can play it. And if you are satisfied with it and it's five seconds is what you want, that's great. You can also go up here into the effects. So when you're doing your title screen, if you want to change the whole thing, you're going to make sure you're clicked on the background here. You're going to go to animate and you can change the timing. It can be 13 seconds, maybe three seconds. Let's change it there and view it. So you can see it's a lot quicker. If you want to change individual elements, you need to make sure the elements are clicked. So you can also make this come in differently. All right, we'll say this is our final title screen. There's a lot going on here, but I wanted to just show you a bunch of different examples. So we're going to watch it one more time. All looks good. You're gonna come here to download. You wanna download it as an MP4 video. Once you download it, it's all good to go. Then what I would do is I would come up here and I would save this as YouTube title screen 
template and you can come into these three dots and you can come to see all scroll down here and make it a template so you can use it over and over again it's going to streamline your process for creating these title screens and it's gonna make it a lot easier to do all right now let's say that you have step number two what you're gonna do is gonna come up to file you're gonna come down here to make a copy already done for you all you need to do is go step two and change what the text is so then you can have these consistent professional looking title screens throughout your video to break up your content so let's move into how to make a YouTube subscribe button okay so we are back here to the YouTube thumbnail template we're gonna go right here if you do not have a paid for Canva account you cannot download this with a transparent background so what you're gonna need to do if you have a free account is you need to make this background green and use your video editing green screen effects to make this disappear so you're just gonna come up here you're gonna select this right here all right that should be a good enough green screen and then you're gonna move forward if you do have a canva paid account don't worry we can make this white and get it back to normal next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search button because remember the subscribe button looks like a button again all of these are free so anything that has that logo is a paid for version Canva, all of these are free. So let's grab this, that looks like a great button. You wanna think of this as your video, okay? This is you on the screen. So since the YouTube subscribe button is usually over here in the right hand corner, that's where you want to have your button pop up. So we're gonna pop that over here and we cannot change this color. So keep that in mind. If you want this color button, good to go. I don't like that button color. I think I can go with this like green one. That's interesting. It's not necessarily YouTube, but guess what? This one we can edit. So we can grab some red colors if we want here, or you can use your brand color. So again, if we come up here, we change this. I want to make it pink. Let's say we're going to go with that. Again, you can make it YouTube red if you want. So we're going to make this smaller because I don't need this button giant on my face when I'm rec when you are watching my video. Pop this down here, right in the corner. I'm going to get text. I'm going to just hit subscribe. I need it a little bit bolder to stand out. We're going to make it this white color of mine. Now here's the trick to make sure the button and the text stay together. Grab your mouse, make sure both of these are highlighted and group them together. Now they become one single element and now you can ensure the animation all goes together. So now you're going to come here to animate and play with this to see how you want your button to come in. Remember the ones without this logo are free. So you maybe want this one to pop up. Maybe you want it to pan in like that. You want to check it out, see how you like it. It stays up there for five seconds. If you want it a little bit longer, you're going to come up here to pan because that's the current animation we have right now and see if you want something different, right? You can scroll through all of these and determine which one you like best. Play it one last time. All right. If you want to speed it up, you want it up less amount of times. So you're going to come over here, two and a half seconds, play it, boom. It's done. So again, you can play with that, make it however you want it to look. Next up, we're gonna do your name or like your Instagram account. If you wanna put your Instagram account or your Facebook account, whatever you want, gonna come up here. Again, YouTube thumbnail. I would go ahead, go to elements and search whatever social icon you want. So let's go to Instagram. I'm gonna find the logo we like best. Uh, let's go ahead and use this one. I want it to pop up on this side first. I want it to be recognizable. So I made it a little bit bigger. Then we're gonna get my text here. I'm gonna do the at because that's you know Instagram at Trina underscore little I need this to be a bit bigger so we can see it I also probably want it this color you need to think about how it's going to be on your video as well so keep that in mind that it stands out because you cannot change this once you export it so once you're putting it on editing and then it's stuck there the color we're going to group this again so grab them group them and then we can start to play with animate okay cool let's do this so what you could say to have this pop up obviously it can pop up whenever you want it to but you could say something like I actually share with you more behind the scenes information over on my Instagram make sure you follow me on Instagram Trina underscore little and you can see how that can come up and then just make sure that you have these saved or you put them in a file that you can use again and again you take the time to set this up once and you can use them to make your videos look better each time let me know in the comments if you want to learn how to create graphics like this animated graphics for social media like video pins instagram feed videos instagram stories as well and i will add that to my content calendar was this helpful hit that like button if it was and if you are ready to learn how to start batching your youtube content so you can create these awesome graphics to put on them watch this video on your screen right now where i literally bring you behind the scenes on a batching day in my life so you can see exactly how i knock out multiple videos in one day i'll see you on that video